How are we doing, everybody? It is a beautiful day here in the Cheesy Moon Workshop. Sunday afternoon. Finally getting around to some YouTube time. I haven't had a chance to give any uh, response to comments or anything. I had to replace the kitchen sink faucet, and that's quite a challenge because it's in a corner and it's very tight. But I'm going to do a very, very quick a uh, recap of the knives I found last weekend that were all rusty. This one here. Uh, this is a frost cutlery, I believe. Yeah, this is a frost cutlery. Part of a state's commemorative set or whatever. Um, this is going to be a daily user for me. You know, going to my... Uh, Pocket carry rotation, good snap, decent knife. I mean, you know, for a frost, it's it's one of the better frosts that I've seen in, in a while. Um, and this hasn't been buffed and polished or anything. I just knocked the rust out of it. Same with this one here. This is a case. Congress has W.R. Case and Sons Cutlery etched into the side of the handle. This was so rusty it would barely open. I've got a little bit of schmutz in here. Um, but that'll clean up. Uh, this is the preliminary just de-rusting. I have still uh, to get them properly lubricated and sprayed out with the, the air can. But look at there, in contrast to the rusty mess this was when I got it, I'm super happy. And of course the dog's gonna bark. Okay, sorry about that monkey. Had to answer the door, but yeah, this knife, um, I gotta buff it out still, but it's a uh, a good looking knife, and um, blades are in good shape. Just need a little touch up on the ceramic rod, and we'll be good to go. The other one that uh, came out pretty nice was this case mini trapper. It says "Congrats" carved into the side of it. It's got a couple little scratches and nicks on it, but. Um, the walk and talk is very good. You got all the rust out of there. A little bit of buffing is still going to have a, a nick in it. But uh, still a little bit of crud and rust down in the, along the back springs there. But uh, I'll get that out. That's, this was just the initial cleaning. These buck knives... This is the Buck Mini Trapper. Uh, there is no half stop. It's a Buck 382, but uh, it doesn't say Buck USA. Pretty sure it's Chinese made. So this will be one of the ones that goes in pocket rotation for, for daily use because, again, there's still a little crud down in there. They have to get a a brush and get it cleaned out but it's a decent little knife pretty well made this knife I haven't figured out I don't know who that is I haven't I haven't even had a chance to look it up it's been so busy around here but it's a SW uh, says it's made in uh, USA nice snap on it Stainless steel blades. Good little knife. Cleaned up pretty well. Uh, this knife here. Still got a little bit of work to do on this one here. It's a colonial. The major rust I got off of it. Still some discoloration back here. But I'm trying not to put it on a no sanding belt or anything. I'm just trying to get it all 
cleaned up my hand. No snap on that blade yet. A little bit there. Decent little knife. Um, that'll be a, a daily carry. And then there was this little tiny little knife here. Another stainless Colonial Providence USA. Decent snap on that one. Really good snap on this little pin blade. Kind of hung up there. Still gritty. And then there was this, uh, this Kissing Cranes. This is the... Uh, Christmas knife. Um, kind of still kind of sluggish. Oops. That one got away from me. No half stop. But I got to come up with a, a handle theme for this one here. But there you go, guys. A quick down and dirty. The other one that I, that I did clean up and has been in my pocket since... The day I bought it is this little Barlow. It's a Schrade model SC506. I looked it up on the uh, interwebs. And originally this had some sort of scrimshaw, duck, bear, goat, whatever, or the little oval for someone's initials. And uh, it was filed down. I don't know if we can... There, you can kind of see that. They, they stayed away from the bolster, which was good. But they dug really deep on this side. You can see the difference in the thickness on the scales there. But I love this little knife. Um, very good snap. Carbon steel, good blade. Um, this is one of the favorite knives. There's a little bit, little bit of gap there. Let's see if I can focus. See a little bit of a gap, but I think I can tap that and tighten it down. Absolutely love the Barlow. It's my favorite. Um, still a little stiff, but in great shape. Absolutely love it. All right, guys, there are a couple other knives that are still um, in the cleaning process. These are just preliminarily clean to get the rust and everything off of them. Um, I'm going to do some buffing and shining and, and further lubricating. But the two case knives, they come out fantastic. The rest of these knives are just good, solid pocket knives that can be carried or put in rotation. I'm, I'm probably going to carry this uh, this knockoff, or not, I'm not sorry, no, I don't mean to say knockoff. This China-made buck, I'll probably carry that a lot because I, I like the, the mini trapper. Um, so there we go, guys. Quick recap. More to come, more on these particular knives to come. And so until I see you again, please remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share the video. And until I see you again, have a beautiful day. I'm sorry, I'm back. I left one out. This little knife here is indeed a boker. USA. This was super rusty. I still have a lot to go on this one. But I got some snap back in it. And uh, as you can see down there on the tang, still, still rusty. Uh, thick, you can feel it, type rust. But I did get it to work. And uh, Old uh, Kevin, a knife doctor, he 
he likes to put um, nine millimeter shell caps on uh, on the bigger knives. I'm wondering maybe if a 22 primer will fit in there, but I'll just have to play around and find out. But again, I got to snap back and uh, half stop working just fine. Just got a little, a little bit more rust. And this, for sure, I mean, I, I like the big knives, I like the barlows, but these little knives here, super handy to drop in your pocket. They don't take a lot of room. And uh, once I get the rest of that rust off, those brass liners are gonna pop. And this is gonna be a sweet little knife. Again, I'm trying not to take, you know, to the belt sander or grinding wheel. I wanna keep just rubbing away at this rust gonna get it cleaned up there we go false ending last time until i see you all again have a beautiful day